Hi everyone, welcome to the Grumpy Home Chef. On today's menu, we're making Swedish meatballs. And for this, you need to make meatballs and then you need to make the sauce. So firstly, we'll make the meatballs. In the meatballs, I've got some mince. I have some parsley, panko crumbs, allspice, onions, an egg, and seasoning. Right, so to make these, you get your hands a bit dirty. So in your mince, you pretty much add everything. So you add your parsley, your allspice, panko, onions, season it with some salt, pepper, and the egg. Then we mix. Put our hands. So as you can see, everything's mixed in now. My hands are freezing because the mince was really cold. And what I'm going to do is, you can probably make somewhere around 12 big ones or small ones. I'm going to make the small ones, uh, probably about uh, probably about that big, I think. And all it is, it's a matter of just grabbing a handful size that you want, rolling it, putting it on a tray. Okay, so I've rolled them all out. And what I'm going to do now is fry them off and cook them in this small fry pan and do it in batches. After that, I'll make the sauce and then reheat the meatballs in the sauce. Right, so once you've fried them all off, this is what they look. Cover, cover them with some foil and set them aside. It's time now to make the sauce. Okay, so now it's time to make the sauce. And for the sauce, you need cream, butter, Dijon mustard, flour, Worcestershire sauce, and beef stock. Now we cook it on the sauce. Okay, for this, you have to add the butter and the flour. You whisk it until it goes brown. I've got a little bit more butter that I want to get out. So this is going to take some time while the butter melts and the flour goes brown. So now that the colour has changed from that bright yellow and white for the flour to a somewhat light brown, yellow, dark yellow, you add the beef stock and cream gradually. So it's just a matter of a little bit in. It's like you've made a roux and you now want to build up your sauce so that it doesn't get lumps in it. Okay, after you've added the stock and the cream, then add your Worcestershire sauce and your mustard, Dijon mustard. Stir it 
and um, season it and let it simmer for a few minutes and then taste it make sure that you're happy with the flavor you may need some more salt you may need some pepper and after a couple of minutes your sauce will be ready when you're ready to serve warm this back up add your meatballs and there's your Swedish Swedish meatballs thanks for watching Grumpy Home Chef you'll find the recipe for this in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and like so that you'll keep informed of what Grumpy's cooking next time. And follow me on social media.